अल्ट्रा शॉर्ट थ्रो वन ऑफ द हॉटेस्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस इयर एंड वी नो दैट वी हैव बीन ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग अ लॉट डूइंग लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन इट एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट पीपल हैव इन इन दर माइंड वेन बाइंग अल्ट्रा शॉर्ट थ्रो प्रोजेक्टर्स इज दैट डू आई नीड टू स्पेंड दैट हैवी अमाउंट ऑन दैट यू एस टी एल आर स्क्रीन एंड वाई इज इट सो कॉस्टली कांड आई जस्ट सेटल फॉर अ रेगुलर वाइट फैब्रिक स्क्रीन नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस अबाउट अल्ट्रा शॉर्ट थ्रो प्रोजेक्टर्स द स्क्रीन वॉट इज इट दैट यू नीड टू In this video, I Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theatre wale bhaiya, is going to give you five main bullet points that is going to clear the doubts that are there in your mind with regards to the ultra short throw screens. And let's begin. But before we begin, don't forget Thursday, tenth of August at seven thirty p.m. I am going to be live on YouTube for the very first time to answer all of your questions. about home theater system and it's going to be our first ever live get help episode so i am looking forward to see you in case you need a reminder don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification on so that you are notified about that event now let's go back to understand more on ultra short throw projector and the screens that are required for it Let us first understand that is screen really mandatory for ultra short throw projector? Well, the ultra short throw projectors today are capable to project on any wall. You can select the color wall option as pink, blue, uh, green, off white, white, and it can use that as a surface to project the image. Simply, you can also use a traditional white fabric as well to get the output. But is this the best? Well, definitely not, and that is why. one of the only screens that we always recommend to use for ultra short throw is the alr fabric screen now why and what makes it special let us understand that these alr screens when you look at the first glimpse it looks like a gray fabric the reason why it looks like gray is cause it's a combination of black and white surfaces if you i don't know if how will it look in the camera but if you see in one angle it looks like black when you look from the top but the moment i reverse it you will see another color okay so basically one side is all black and the bottom side is all white that's how the screen is and in a very simple manner or a very simple language to put it up this black is to absorb the ceiling light and the white is to reflect the projector so the white is going to give you a fantastic brightness at the same time the ceiling light which is getting reflected and this black layer is there that is going to absorb that and not reflect that light that's why it eliminates the background light and gives you a very crystal clear image on the screen that's the beauty of ust alr screen which stands for ultra short throw ambient light rejection screen now if that is clear to you let's move on to the five key bullet points the very first thing that you need to note before buying a ultra short throw alr screen is that how are you going to place your projector is your projector going to be on the table or are you going to mount it reverse from the ceiling or from the wall because this kind of mounting position is also going to determine that what kind of screen you need to buy because as i mentioned if you buy a ultra short throw alr screen and you mount it straight but you mount the projector on the top that's not going to get reflected a lot because the black surface from the top is going to block the light reflection and you will not see a clear image so in such cases what you can do is you can put the same ultra short throw alr screen but instead of putting it in this orientation you just reverse the orientation but with this a drawback that will come along is that your ceiling light is also going to come i mean it's going to get reflected so be prepared for it and there are very few ultra short throw models in the projector which are compatible for a ceiling mount or an inverted mount position so do check that before you buy a projector as well as screen The second key point that you need to note while buying ultra short throw LR screen is the type of screen. Now what do I mean by type of screen? Well, unlike the other projector screens, ultra short throw LR screens are not perforated, which means that you cannot mount a speaker behind the screen and the speaker can either be on the sides or can be on the floor. So, definitely it's not meant for a custom install application wherein you want to hide the speakers behind the screen. So, if that's very very clear to you, let us understand the type of screen so three types of screen are available in this ultra short throw alr segment 
Number one is a fixed frame screen. Something which you can see right behind me. That's a fixed frame ultra short throw ELR screen available between 100 to 120 inches diagonal size. There are very few manufacturers who are yet to get 133 and 150 inches. Though there are projectors which claim that the screens can go up to 150, the market still does not have that kind of size. We are struggling for our own projects to give a 133 inches screen. So if anybody has been able to figure out where to find a 133 inches diagonal ultra short throw ELR fixed frame screen, let me know in the comments in the meanwhile. And apart from the fixed frame, you get two other verticals in which you can find this ultra short throw ELR screens. The second one is the floor rise up. In a floor rise up screen, the screen gets rolled up in a box which is kept inside the cabinet and then the screen comes from the bottom to the top. So it acts against the gravity and the mechanism is going to be heavy. The screens are extremely expensive. Like if you're looking at a 100 inch screen, it would probably cost you around 2 lakh rupees. So be prepared to spend that kind of money on this electric floor rise up. It is worth it. Whether to go for it, it's purely your call. The third type of screen in this is the Electric motorized screen wherein you put it in the ceiling and this fabric comes down. Definitely, it can't be a normal synchronous motor fabric. You would need a tap tension fabric for these kind of ALR screens. And out of my own experience, cause this fabric is not like a regular fabric. It's more like a very stiff, plasticky material. I would not recommend to do any of these motorized options. Try to stick to a fixed frame screen and not any of the motorized screens. But having said that, these are two options as well, which you can evaluate the floor rise up and the ceiling, you know, uh, electric motor, motorized screen. The third point that you need to note while buying ultra short throw LR screen is of reflection gain. Now reflection gain, as we all know, is very, very important because that's like a coefficient to determine how much the light or the projection is going to get reflected from that screen. Now, typically the answer is that higher the number it's always going to be better because i'll have more and more better reflection coming from the screen but in ultra short throw elr case it's a myth you want lesser reflection gain so that you get deeper black levels the background light gets cut off and you can see a very very nice colorful image on the screen without any fading effect so always remember lower the reflection gain more better it is for your room the fourth important point that you need to note while buying ultra short throw LR screen is the viewing angle. Now I know that already till now, when you're shopping for these ultra short throw LR screens, you have come across quotations varying from a hundred inches fixed frame screen for roughly around 80, 90,000, all the way up to 1.5 lakh rupees. You would be confused. Why are these variations? Some of the points we already covered up, but one of the main points that is going to affect the price is the viewing angle. Now in this viewing angle, what we did is we did a small exercise with two screens. One was a four movies personal screen that comes as a part of that brand's product portfolio, which is an ultra short throw ELR screen. And the second one we tried was from the company called Highview. Now Highview screen has got a 180 degree viewing angle, whereas the personal screen has got only 50 degree as the viewing angle. Now how to shop for it? What you have to understand is that in which room you are placing, from which position are you going to watch the screen. If you are going to go beyond that 50 degree of the angle of the screen, then definitely you would need to go for a higher viewing angle and not 50 degree. But if there are chances that you are going to just put it in a media room or a theater room and everybody is going to sit in front of it, then and then only go for the smaller viewing angle screen. Now, if you see these two screens, the personal screen definitely gives a very very nice image when you are in the front but as and how you move towards the side you start seeing the image a little black or grey but the high view whereas maintains the brightness levels from any of these angles now whether it's good or bad there is no answer to this because it's not that as the important factor the important factor is where you are sitting in what angle and whether that angle supports in that particular screen so do look for these weaving angles when you are buying any of these ultra short throw ALR screens. The final point has to be the brand of the screen. Now I know we all are very, very curious to know that which is the right brand to shop for ultra short throw ALR screens. So there is not one such brand, but one of the brands that we have been relying upon a lot is the Highview 
ultra shot through mm-hmm. LR screens because the fabric when we tested it along with the Elite fabric, it definitely was at par. Elite has been great because they have got three variants in the fabric. So what we compared compared with was the Starbright CLR fabric of Elite. They have got CLR2 and CLR3 which are again very very nice. But the basic entry level Elite fabric of CLR was definitely equivalent to the high view. And to do that, here's a small clip that you can watch. So as you saw, both the screens are at par and definitely I would not spend extra on that Elite screen for a regular CLR fabric. Definitely the CLR2 and the CLR3 will have some more better offerings. That's the reason they are expensive. But when it comes to buying a ultra short throw projector screen for a projector which is two and a half to max three lakh, high view can be one of the options that you can recommend, you know, you can look at. Apart from that, there are many other brands that are being offered by a lot of sellers as well as by brands. For instance, not many would know that Epson with their ultra short throw projectors, they also sell Epson brand UST LR screens. So that can also be something that you can look up to. So a lot of brands have got their own tie-ups. BenQ has got their own uh, screen tie-ups with some other vendors. So a lot of these companies have got these tie-ups. Try to look at for them and see if that screen is very much well priced according to the Indian markets and go for it in case you need a help in designing this and understanding that which projector or which UST LR screen is the right combination for your requirements then I highly recommend you to check the link in the description as well as shared above so that we can design that great home cinema system for you which will include the right UST projector and the right UST LR screen. That's it from my end in case this video helped you and if you feel it should help other people as well, then don't forget to hit the like button. And I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater, will see you again in the next one. Thank you.